100th anniversary of the scene of the Titanic today, April 15th, 2012. Yeah, so I've been watching all the documentaries. There's so many freaking documentaries on the Titanic just on YouTube alone. I couldn't even watch them all, and I started watching them in January this year when it turned 2012, and I was like, oh, the 100-year anniversary, so I started watching them. I could go over facts forever, but it would just get boring. I'm just going to give a few other thoughts that I have on my mind. This is a colorized, this picture right here is a colorized shot of uh, the smoking room. The gentleman's smoking room, no women were even allowed in it. It was supposedly the most expensive room in there. And they recreated on some TV show where they recreated the fireplace with the... Uh, painting that held above it. The guy who did the painting died in like the 70s, 1970s. Yeah, um, so you know how the Titanic wasn't even found until 1985, like 73 years after it sank. So you gotta imagine like the Titanic must have almost been just like a myth or a legend that was hard to believe until you actually saw it. But all those camera shots of down below, two and a half miles down there is just amazing once it shows out of nowhere. And how the front bow is still up in the air and you can still see the deck. It's just amazing. They say the interior was almost stock compared to like all the other, because you know how they did the Olympic and the Britannic and whatnot. It was just, the interior was, very similar to that, they say. And um, the richest man on the ship died, as we know, John Jacob Astor. There's also a rumor that he let out the dogs out of the kennel. A bunch of dogs and cats died on the ship as well. And most of the crew was just ignorant rookies. It was like their first time out on sea. Because obviously White Star Line hired a whole new crew for the Titanic on its first voyage. And a lot of them were from Belfast. And a lot of them had no idea what was going on and they were just locking up people. A lot of people say that White Star Line shouldn't face criminal charges even though they were locking people. The third class exit ways out of there down in there and we're giving them a fair chance to survive which is crazy and we all know Bruce Ismay who was like one of the presidents of White Star Line one of the upper management that's one of the highest ranking upper management of the company to survive he cowardly got onto a boat with women and children they didn't go back only one of the boats even went back to go and pick up the people can you imagine two out of every three people died? Two out of every three. And, j and I just um, saw a night to remember. Oh, and they also say um, more um, more men in first class survived than children in third class. And also, there was a few suites available the most expensive rooms in the Titanic and you got your own bathroom and you got a separate room in there just like a suite is and it had its own deck space which is so gorgeous I think they actually put um Rose and um her fiance or whatever in the uh in the um in their own private suite where they got their own deck area remember she's got those Picasso paintings and shit Anyway, that would be so amazing to be on the Titanic and have your own deck space. Also, I want to say, I just saw A Night to Remember 1958. I really suggest seeing that movie. That movie's freaking amazing. Instead of following just one character or a trio of characters, the love triangle like the Titanic 97 does, this one f bounces around to all different characters and all real life characters. And it was made in the 50s, 40 years after it sank. So a bunch of people who survived were working as production assistants on the movie for A Night to Remember. I thought it would be a bunch of filler and a bunch of hard dialogue to follow and create 
but the boat scenes are amazing, the sinking's amazing. They make it don't go down in one piece, because at that time, half the, most of the people believe that it went down in one piece. So they make it go down in one piece. Other than that, everything else is, they say, is one of the most accurate accounts, because it's all based on a book of guy, of a guy, um, Walter Lord, who accounted all these interviews from survivors of Titanic. So definitely check out A Night to Remember if you get a chance to. TCM played it April 14th, the night that the iceberg hit, struck the, uh, the night that the Titanic struck the iceberg and whatnot. Anyway, um, yeah, they bounce around to that mystery ship also that was close nearby. Everyone heard about that mystery ship. They don't know what ship it was, you know. I still haven't found much research into, as to what that ship was because they were 400 miles off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada. They were closer to America and Canada than they were England. Obviously they were going from England to, to New York. What else do I have to say? There's also been rogue missions on it because everyone's stealing all the freaking material. You know how much debris is down there? It's insane. There's, they've covered over... They've covered over 5,000 over 5,000 artifacts officially, and you gotta imagine there's rogue missions now. Back 20 years ago in the 80s, like no one had the equipment to go down there. Now a bunch of people, and Robert Ballard, the guy who discovered it back in 1985, he's trying to set up security systems to preserve the Titanic from greedy bastards who are getting their rogue crews and going out there and stealing artifacts to make money off it on the black market. Anyway, um, then there was a silent film made in 1912, only weeks after, it was 10 minutes long, and it was destroyed in a fire in the 20s. Anyone, that's one of the most coveted lost films of all time. It was Dorothy Gibson, an actual survivor, played herself in the movie and wore the same attire that she was wearing the night that the Titanic sunk. It's insane. Anyone would love to see that silent film from 1912. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all my thoughts on it. This is JBM, April 15th, 2012. 100 year anniversary of the Titanic sinking.